Hi, my name is Keith Garuba. I'm a resident artist here at the Banana Factory, and this is my space. Come on in. I'm a printmaker, and so I'm going to show you all the tools that I use to do printmaking, and I'm going to explain to you what printmaking is, and show you a little bit about what I do when I'm here at my studio. Um, this is my daughter, Audrey. She hangs out with me at the studio sometimes. Say hi, Audrey. Hi. She's playing with Play-Doh. <laughs> she might chime in, we'll see. So I'm a printmaker, and I've been at the Banana Factory for two years, and I love my space here. I've been able to put all my tools here. And what printmaking is, is it's a way of making art, making prints. So if you've used stamps before, or stencils, or anything like that, that's printmaking. And I'm going to show you some of the ways that I do printmaking. But when I first started out, I was actually in love with drawing. I love to draw, and comic books were my passion originally. Do you guys like comic books? So, I love comic books. I still make comic books sometimes. Not that often anymore, but here's some drawings that I've done uh, for comic books. But when I went to school to start making artwork and to learn how to be an artist, uh, that's when I found out about printmaking. I didn't even know what it was until I went to college. And I went to college to become an artist, and there was a teacher there who showed me what printmaking was. Um, and I fell in love with it, and what I found out was that drawing and comic books, they're all related to printmaking. And people who love to draw, sometimes they become printmakers. Um, and so I want to show you around the space a little bit and maybe show you how I make a couple of prints. Okay, so I'm here at my press. Now this is kind of what most people think of when they think about printmaking. They think of a printing press. Maybe you've heard of a printing press. Printing presses is how they make things like books and how they make flyers and even though a lot of uh, printing comes from things that are made on computers now some people still do printing from things that they made with their hands so i'm standing here at my press and what this press is is this press is a big roller okay and it puts a lot of pressure on so if you think of a stamp that you might make art with you just press with your hand and that's good enough you get ink and then you stamp a piece of paper right but the way that we do printmaking, we actually need a lot of pressure. And so this roller will help us put a lot of pressure on big plates, because when you have big plates of prints, you need a lot of pressure. This is a picture that I'm working on. Um, it's got a lot going on, but what it is is it's kind of a funky, weird drawing of a car tail light, a car light, okay? And I drew this, and this block, it's actually, this is a printmaking block called linoleum, and it actually comes gray. And I colored orange on it so that when I start to carve away and draw on this block, I can see what I'm doing. And what I want to do is show you how I carve this. Now, these are knives. And I have to be so careful when I'm making my printmaking blocks because these knives are very, very sharp. But because they're so sharp, I can use them to cut away my linoleum. I'll show you how it's done. Now you can see I have a couple of cuts here, and what I want to do is cut away everything that's orange so that when I actually print this block, I'm printing everything that is black. You wanna see how I do it? So that's just a little bit of carving on this block. And you can see, to cut out all of this orange, it probably would take me maybe two hours, three hours to do that. And you might be thinking, why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't I just want to make a picture maybe on the computer or just draw the picture? But I would want to make this block because I can make lots of these pictures on paper. Once I have the block, I can print lots of them. I'm about to show you how to do that. The other thing that I really like about doing this is that when I'm print when I'm cutting my block out, I can be uh, 
I'm, I'm actually drawing. I'm drawing with knives. I'm drawing into this block and I'm cutting all these little marks and the little marks that I make have a really cool look once it's printed. So why don't I show you how I print this? You see right here, I'm gonna gather my things. Okay, so what I've got here is a big piece of glass, a roller for, print, for printing and inking. I've got real dark black ink. So this is a really big block that I made once. It took me a long time to draw and carve this block. And what it is, you might not be able to see in, your, in the camera, but this is a picture of a little girl. A little girl wearing a superhero mask. And so I'm gonna ink this up and I'm going to show you what it's like when I print this, okay? First thing I have to do is get this black ink all over this roller. So I'm going to roll it out. And what I want to do is make it nice and smooth. And this is the kind of thing that a printmaker has to practice to get really good at. Can you hear it? It sounds like sandpaper. Oh, that's perfect. And that's exactly how much ink I want. So now I'm going to put it on the block. And you can see it's making my block black. So I'm gonna cover this block all in black ink, okay? Okay, so you can see it's a lot of work to roll up one block, right? But once it's all rolled up, I'm ready to get printing. So I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and I can print this guy right on the press. I'm ready to go. Okay, so I have my block on the press here and I've got a big piece of paper. Printmakers often work with big pieces of paper. And guys, I love paper. That's one of the things I love about being a printmaker is I get to play with big paper. So I'm gonna lay this paper right in the middle of the block. Then I'm going to put my blankets on top. You can hear my daughter playing in the background. And sometimes that's what it is to be an artist too. Taking care of your babies while you're making your work. Okay, now this press is electric. Some presses have big cranks on them, but this one's electric. Here comes the magic moment. Let's see how it came out. Ready? Hey, that came out pretty good. Okay, now I want to show you the project that I'm working on right now because I'm super excited about it. These are prints on glass. So sometimes an artist, most times, a printmaker is going to make his prints on paper, okay? But I've been doing printmaking on glass, all right? And I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. But look at these pictures. These are pictures of car taillights, again. Now what I did while I was making these was I really looked at taillights and I was looking at all the little shapes that are inside of the light, right? There's all kinds of lines and shapes and patterns and I loved that. Now it really reminded me of what op artists and pop artists did with their patterns and lines and shapes and so I thought to myself, what if I use those shapes and patterns in a way that wasn't just for tail light pictures, but what if I kind of let them out and get them all over the page? And so I started working, come on with me over here. So, so I made these pieces where the shapes and patterns and lines are swirling all over the glass. And I did these by a type of printmaking called silk screening. I wanna show you how I do silk screening, okay? So come on over here. Okay. So I'm going to make this print using a silk screen. And a silk screen is just a type of stencil. I don't know if you've ever done stenciling before, but when you do a regular stencil, all you're doing is cutting a shape out of paper or cardboard or something like that, and then spraying paint through or stamping 
paint through to get your shape onto the paper, right? Well, that's exactly what this is, except this is on fabric. So everything green here is going to block the paint, and everything yellow is going to let the paint through. And that's going to allow us to stencil onto my piece of glass here. So I'm gonna show you this, all right? So I mixed my very own colors. This is red, a type of red, but it's made out of little bits of powdered glass that I mixed with a liquid that holds it together. And so I'm going to use this paint right on my screen like this. And why don't you take a look at how I do this. Okay, so I just printed this onto a piece of plastic. And this piece of plastic is going to help me see where this picture is going to go on my piece of glass. Okay, now this is a piece I've been working on for a while. Some of this is ready. Some of these images are new on here. And what I want to do is I want to put this red picture in the middle of this tile of glass, okay? Now, I'm going to take this piece of plastic that I printed and I'm going to lay it over top and I'm going to try to line it up right in the middle so that I can see exactly where I'm printing this, all right? I think that that looks good. Now this tool is called a squeegee and this squeegee is used to push the ink through my picture of my silk screen. And I'm going to print it twice to make sure the picture comes out really good. Thumbs up, I love it. Okay, now this picture needs to dry for a whole day, but here's the really cool part. When this is dry, I can put it in an oven, and that oven is going to make the glass dry completely in to the piece, it's going to fuse it. That means the picture will never come off the glass. It'll all be glass. Well, thanks for visiting my studio and letting me show you some of my processes. I showed you some carving and some stamping and relief printing with linoleum. And I showed you some silk screening and I really love sharing those processes with you. If you have any questions, please have your teacher email me or you can get in touch with me directly through the Banana Factory. Um, I'd be happy to share my information with your teacher. And uh, if you ever want to come visit the art studio, once the world opens back up again, uh, you can come visit my studio anytime, especially on First Fridays. Uh, First Fridays are a great opportunity for you to come and meet the artists. And I would love to have you here. I'm usually giving demonstrations just like I did for you here. And I would love to meet you and show you what I do. Thanks for visiting.